It's done? Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> Who, no one told me. Well, we're just tweaking a few things. Oh, okay. Okay. That's so Just on a few knobs. Just behind the scenes. Uh, it feels amazing. Uh, really having a chance to sort of get the game uh, uh, after this many years and so much hard work on, on the team's behalf and everybody, uh, it's, it's an awesome experience. And getting to play it and having fun doing it is really rewarding. And it's actually really exciting to do that at this stage. Yeah, it's pretty awesome when you just take a step back. It's, it's amazing to see the progress that the game's made you know, over the years and uh, how awesome it's become in just these last few months. It's, it's great. I concur. It's freaking awesome. And we have people who would be like, oh, six years, guys. Why don't you just ship it? Just ship it. It's fine. It's fine the way I played the beta. It's awesome. Ship it. But nobody feels that more than us. Like, I mean, if they think it's hard to wait, like, they've only known about it for three years. We've known about it for, like, six and a half, and we have to live with it every day. Like, it's tough not to, not to put it out there. We, we probably could have shipped the game earlier, but I think that it would not have been nearly as good a game as it is now. Back then, I, you know, it was pretty good, but, but we've, we've just kicked it up a notch, so. It's a Blizzard game. It's got to be good. It's got to be more than good. It's got to be great. And if it's not great, then it doesn't go out. If we can make a game that we're really, really proud of and we really feel like this is the best game we can make, and if that maybe takes an extra three months uh, to make or a little bit longer, I think the community at the end of the day will actually appreciate that. And, you know, we were happy with it before, but I think it definitely turned even better now. It's a really, it was a really hard decision. But as we like to say, no one will, no one will remember if it was late. They'll only remember whether it was great. And that rhymes, so it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you work on a game for five, six years, like we have, you really lose a lot of perspective. It's really hard to um, judge your work and judge the game. And so you need fresh perspective. You need to bring other people in. We have this process we have internally where we have um, a strike team um, that is built up of developers from within the company, you know, from the other teams. They came in and said to us, you know, showed us things about the game that we thought were fine, and, um, but that weren't. You're always nervous about making radical changes at the end, but sometimes you actually have to make those radical changes to make the game better. The skill system was definitely one of those. After we made the changes and we played it, we said, wow, this feels so much better. I mean, I'm, I'm really glad we made the changes. We had some pretty major problems with the system. It was really complicated and the items didn't feel that good. Like there was always this idea that the runes would be these really cool items that you'd find and they, eh, they didn't really matter. Like, you, they weren't that hard to get. Even when we made them really rare, they felt terrible. So we had to get them at the right rarity where they felt okay, and then they felt trivial because they didn't have an element on them of randomness. So we did that. We changed the whole system, and we added it as elements of randomness, and we added the this whole attuning idea, which really was trying to try and solve this. We're going to make these really good items. And then we did all that, and it was worse. And what's funny is the community, like we told the community before we were gonna do it, what we were planning on it, and they were all like, that's a terrible idea, it's gonna be worse. They were right, <laughs> like it was totally worse. But sometimes you have to try it. You have to see, like, is it really? Maybe it seems like it'll be worse, but there are problems that we can fix, but they weren't. Yeah, you'd spend, you'd have your whole stash filled with runes, and then you'd be tool tipping over everyone to just find the one you thought was best at the time, and it was a mess. I said, okay, well, it doesn't seem like the item part of it is working we have to get rid of that part. It's not even the primary goal of the system. And as soon as we did, the system felt great. Oh, it's absolutely critical. Like, you have to have it. Some members of the community will look at, you know, and, and say, well, we've given you all this feedback and you didn't change it. But what it comes down to is, it doesn't mean we didn't listen. We just don't always agree. My perspective on the community feedback, it, it's been huge for, for us on the engineering side. Just it's great to get so many other eyes on the product and just telling us technically like what bugs they've found, some things that have slipped through the cracks. We do pay a lot of attention to what people say on the forums and mostly what we're looking for is for trends of people having some underlying underlying problem with something and that's really valuable to us. There's a lot of little pieces moving so I think looking at what is at the core of that request or what's at the core of that, that thought is, is really the best way to regress and sort of think about it. The skill system in particular like just because of the way the timing of the beta releases came we put that out in the beta 
knowing full well that there were some issues that were unaddressed. And it was also just sort of a good gut check, I think. The community said like, hey, you really need to address these issues. And I was like, we're on it. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah. we're making some of those changes. Really set a fire under us to make some, some big improvements to the systems that we designed. Yeah.